Good morning. We're in Cherokee. I'm gonna show you some deep water holes that you need to try with uh, live bait. And uh, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> And I'm right up here uh, at the totem pole um, on this road here. You want to go right behind this. Uh, right now it's called the Dogwood Shop. Go down behind the Dogwood Shop. Another landmark would be the Pancake House down here. Uh, you need to walk up this way to get where you want to be on some of these fishing holes so follow me down there i put the road name and everything that i can remember uh i'm gonna put the road name and all in the description to get you here so let's go down and try to fish a little bit with some live bait all right so it's gonna be a little difficult getting down there i always bring me a, a rope and we're gonna fish some of these deep water holes down there to see if we got any trout in them uh, you notice here I'm using my my old man rope get down here I don't, can't afford to get hurt all right so we got we got two good holes right in here that you can hit with your uh, live bait now I guess around 10 o'clock this is summertime Around 10 o'clock, you're gonna have your uh, tubers coming down here. But it really don't interfere with the fishing, in my opinion. You just have to stop when they come by you. We're gonna walk right over here. It's gonna be our first hole. Remember, the totem pole, and you can't miss that. It's right across the road. Uh, so you want to come straight down here from there. All right, we're going to walk right over here. You want to get over here on these rocks. Because the hole we fishing is right in here. It's deep water. Not too many people venture out over on this side. But, uh... You want to catch them? If you want to catch some? There's things you have to do. All right, you see where I'm at? Up yonder. Up yonder is the totem pole. Come straight across behind this red building. Walk down beside it and come up here. It's going to be our first hole right here. We're going to fish right in here, deep water, and you can walk. We're going to walk over here this ledge and throw out our our uh, live bait. Now I'm using a, I got a cork on here with a number seven uh, split shot. You want to use the number seven round split shot. And then I got a number four hook on here. All right, I got a, what I like to do is slide that worm. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to slide that worm up on that hook. All right like so all i'm gonna do is throw that out there and let it just drift with this current all right i'm gonna just let it ride with the current let's see if we pick up anything all right, I just got to hit. What happens, these trout, they get in this deep water and they hold up along the side of these ledges. You can't see it probably. Some was out, you probably could see it. There's a deep ledge in here and they'll hold up down beside it. I'm gonna do this again. Let's, let's bring him in. 
I'm gonna take it cork off. All right, now I'm just going. I ain't got no cork on here, and I'm just gonna let it go deep. I'm just holding my rod tip up. If he's in there, he's going he's going to pop it. I'm just throwing up the stream and just letting it drift, keeping my line tight. So really, mainly, this ain't about this is right not mainly about the fishing. It's mainly about showing you where to go. Uh, I got some videos out there just mainly fishing, catching them. But I, I'm, my my point is, I'm trying to make the best of my time when I'm up here in Cherokee to give you the locations on where to come. Um, but now in this little area here, I have limited out. Like I say, this is in one place, you know, a lot of people don't come. I mean, who's gonna fish these real deep water holes? Well, I'll tell you who, them, uh, the natives up here, you watch them. You watch, you look for uh, some worms or some corn, can of corn. And they got the bank wore out where they've been sitting there in that, that deep water. Yep. That's what they're doing. They know them fish down in there. All right. Let's put us another night crawler on. Now look, I got my number four hook right here. And I guess maybe three or four inches above that. I got a little small number seven spit weight. You don't have to use a whole lot of worm. Uh just pinch off just a little bit mm. all right guys we're gonna move on to our next hole so you know where to come in Cherokee yeah, let's move. our next spot is where we come in at and it's gonna be right over here All right, this is going to be our next little spot. Water deep. Directly behind this building. All right. See where I, now we were over yonder. Here's this, this building. All right. Let's throw out there. All right, I'm just going to let it. Drift in this water. Now, yeah, you can get hung up in here. It's part of fishing, though. Mainly what you get hung up on is some tree limbs or something. The reason I tell you to use those round weights, it's easier for that weight to just roll over those rocks. There's, they make the reusable weights, and they got a pretty bad edge on them, and they get locked in on them rocks. I'm moving pretty quick, and again, I'm going to repeat myself. I'm just showing you these locations to come, but you're going to spend a little bit of time in deep water. Unlike the spinner baiting, uh, the spinners, you throw on those spinners, you're gonna, you're gonna hit and move and hit and move. Uh, with the deep water uh, tactic, you gotta have a little bit of patience and stay with it. Yeah, you know, you're gonna lose some hooks. You're gonna have to retie. Now I tie, you can tie a polymer knot to that number four hook or you can, uh, I've been tying a uni knot. I think I'd make a little separate video and attach it to this one so you can see what I'm doing. They in there are gonna hit it right off, I'll tell you that. All right, well guys, we're gonna move. You got two locations back here. Bring you some, uh, night crawlers a good cold drink throw out there let it drift hopefully catch the limit 
All right, the other spot right here, we, I had this uh, highlighted in another video, uh, but I was mainly doing some spinner fishing. So you want to try that uh, live bait down here. I'm going to get down here and we'll, we're going to work it a little bit. All right, we're going to walk right down here to the edge. Now, if you have mobility issues, take advantage of this ramp and the, uh, the little fishing station up here. But if you can get down here, it's even better. If you can get down here and fish right off this bank. All right, so water deep in here. And I'm just going to throw out. Just gonna let it drift. Like I say, if he's in, if they in here, they gonna hit it. If you wanna see what comes out of here, go over at Paul's restaurant, look up on the wall. Some big ones. Alright, nothing here, nothing here, alright we're going to move, alright the other place you want to come to is right across from the ruby gold mine, we're just down below Paul's, uh, got the ruby gold mine right here, so right behind this red roof building, some deep water back there, and we're gonna walk down there and hit it with that uh, night crawler. You can see a lot of people come out here and fish on this area. That's where I caught a good. I caught. I got one on the wall at home. And I say close to I don't know, three and a half, four pound from out of here. All right, so we're just gonna throw, and let it drift. If he's in there, you're gonna hit it. He's gonna hit it. Water deep in here. You look at just cast all out here. Let it drift. Let it drift in that water. Remember, keep your line where you can, a little bit tight so you can feel it. it jumps when he hits it. If you never fished a tournament, I fished a couple of them. That, it's a lot of fun. Of course, there's going to be a lot of people. Uh, they'll be lining the banks. At dark, got the little head headphone uh, headlight uh, lamps on. Hey, you never know, you could win some big money. Big money down here, Cherokee. Going right down the ledge right here. Oh, it ain't so bad. So bad deep. Yeah. All right. All right, there's a ledge way over yonder. Let's see if we can work it down in there. All right, Mr. Trap. Flowing real good down through there. All right, guys, another good place you want to hit on deep water is up here on Big Cove Road. I'm going to show you that's a pretty little popular place for kids. They come up here swimming, got a swing uh, coming off of, off of tied up to a tree, and uh, it gets kind of hectic summertime, kind of hardly fishing here. But they do drop fish in here. I've seen them come down here with a whole basket full of fish, drop them in this water. We're going to walk down there. 
All right, like I say, it's right off the Big Cove Road. Pretty little popular place. Uh, and they bring these fish in here and drop them in here by the basket full. I'm gonna cast upstream. Just let it go through the water here with this current. Look like they want it. Today's Wednesday, so I'm not blaming it on the stocking, but good chance they ain't, oh, uh, they ain't got a lot of trout in here because they just hadn't stocked yet. Imagine by Friday they're gonna have they're gonna have some fish in the water. All right, let's get out of here. Guys, thank you for watching the episode on deep water locations in Ch Cherokee and using night crawlers. Uh, make sure you subscribe because I got content coming in the fall. I'm gonna be up here. Actually, I got two trips and uh, we're gonna do some fishing and we're going to do some locations. So until next time, God bless all of you and have a great week.